welcome back to Not Real Fishing, everybody. And today we are going to be doing a post fly unboxing. And we are going to the Walmart pond currently. We're going to start and try it there. Um, I have no idea what's in that box. I haven't opened it yet. So hopefully it's going to be somewhat bass related. If not, I do know I, I do know there's a bunch of bluegill in that pond as well. So that is also an option. But I have a few other things to talk about, but we'll talk about that probably when we get to the water. So you can have a little bit more view other than just my face. But uh, I am doing better as far as the COVID is related. It was uh, definitely not as bad as it could have been, but I still haven't been fishing in over two weeks. So this is my first time back in quite a while. It feels good to be back out amongst the living again. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna head to the water and uh, meet you guys there and hopefully we can hook into a few fish all right guys we are walking to the water spot now it's kind of interesting because last time we were here the water level oh God, it's a little, there's a bluegill two bluegill right there in the water so there is bluegill in here you guys probably can't see it on the camera but uh but yeah we're gonna start probably towards the middle section where we normally catch bass they always tend to kind of stay towards the middle last time we were out here fishing the water levels were really low and of course now they're high because that's normally how it works for me when they're low i prepare for low water and then i come out and it's high water and it just goes back and forth between the two but kind of wish i had brought some boots we could reach the end more but there are stuff moving around out there so that's a plus we're probably going to start towards the far end just so we have a little bit better of a spot to look at while we do this unboxing and then we'll get it started to see what's even in here excuse me what's even in here so water here is crystal clear today i see tons of little bluegill so we should have fairly good luck depending on what's in this box. A big old turtle in front of us. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the box opened up. We're probably going to start with the Imago today. Just because we always need that extra reach at this pond to get past the pads. I would love to use the Roto, but it's just not very... Um, feasible. All right, so here we go. Get this open. So of course you get like the little newsletter kind of thing. We've got a little compass. It's pretty cool. I'll add it to my bag. Bearded fish sticker. It's kind of cool too. We got some tippet. It's 3x, so we can definitely use that. Let's see. Most importantly, here's the flies. They look fairly large as usual, to be expected, but not as weighted as the last ones we got. We do have a top water, so we might start with that. So let's see, we have a rabbit, white, low fat minnow perch, a hopper, and two twisted buggers, a yellow and olive. So those twisted buggers actually do look pretty good, but I think we're going to start with the bug, because I love top water. Oof. Man, it's in there. There we go. So I think this is the one we're going to start with. Big old angry looking bug. Where are you all at? There we go. Start with this big old angry bug. So we're going to start with that tied on the Imago. And once we catch a fish with that, of course, we'll switch out and go to the next one. I also now have a cheap little sling pack that I ordered when I was sick, as well as a few other things. I, I ordered some different color backing. I'm hopefully it's hoping to be easier to see, as opposed to white, it's lime green, which lime green is my favorite color, or at least green in general is my favorite color. So I'd hoped that as, as well as getting, you know, better visuals 
I'll be able to get better um, better satisfaction for the pretty green. Currently do have a Kabari tied on there. Just one that I needed just so I could roll the line up. Because I, I did intend on doing this video before I got sick. But it wasn't feasible because I was sick. So we're going to start with the hopper. My leader's long, as always. Probably too long, as I've always say. But we're still going to start with this. Yeah, I'm actually seeing bass feeding a little bit further down. So we're gonna scooch, we're gonna mooch on over this way a little bit. Hopefully get on the bite. Well, got him to bite. Now we just gotta Keep him on there so we can get a hold of the line. Don't know if the fish are still on, guys. It might just be grass now. Yeah, I think we missed him. That bite was instant, though. So we might be able to hook another one once we get this goop all off of our fly switched over to this what do they call on this one a uh, twisted bugger chartreuse chartreuse in yellow so we're going to try this one hopefully the smaller hook maybe we'll get a bluegill or something and uh if not, there's bass in here too, so we've hooked into one and hopefully the little bit of weight might help us. I don't know, we'll see. So far nothing guys. We finally got something. It's like a little baby bass. First fish in months, feels like. Very skinny, very little bass. But it counts. We're gonna let this cute little booger go right here. Water temps are a little bit cooler than I was expecting today. Well, that's one. Let's go tie on another fly. All right, guys. I, uh, I'm going to throw the script away for the post fly for now. I'm going to go back to our bass pond to do that video. We're going to go ahead and rig up the roto. If y'all remember, I, the last couple videos, I had done some... some uh, uh, Experimental flies. This is one of them. It's just like a, a White, you know, Kabari, but the hook is really long with this weird back I don't know if I really talked much about it in the video. I was kind of out of it when I made those videos um, But we're gonna give it a try here and further the experiment see how it does in this really clear water and uh, Yeah, we'll give it a try 
course the current from the wind is still going to be a problem but hopefully um, the just feels good to catch a fish you know get a little bluegill that's all I wanted to do today is come out catch some fishies Don't want to be all muddled by post flies and oh, sorry, you weren't even looking. There's a little bluegill we got, cute little booger, cute little booger. I'm gonna let him go. Whoa, 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 bud, this way, this way. There you go. I know in last. The last video I did where I was at the swamp spot, I was chucking fish in a lot. I was, uh, I didn't really have much of an option. I couldn't get down to the water because it was a nice little like, six foot drop to get to the, the water because the water levels were so low. Impressive little booger. Another little bluegill. Come on, come on camera. Another little bluegill. I'm gonna let him go as well. And he's off. Alright, he's a little bit further down. Just gonna work our way around these points. I have other colors of this fly that we could try. I haven't caught very many big bluegills out of this pond. I think the bass eat them before they get too big. At least on this side. Another little bluegill. Sorry guys, you couldn't see anything. Another little bluegill. Still pretty small. Where are they go? Oh, there's a couple right in front of me. There's a whole bunch right in front of me. I can see them. The whole school of them just chilling. Little bass. Little baby bass. Little baby bass. Still a cute little guy. You gonna let him go as well? All right, all right. There's a whole school of them just fighting it out right in front of me. For what? I don't know what they're fighting for, but hopefully it's for my bait. This one's not too little, guys.
Ah. Spit the hook. He wasn't too small there, guys. Easily a little two, maybe three pounder. All right, guys, little change of scenery. I decided to come to the Publix Pond just on the off chance. Are they hooking one of them big old bluegills that are here? As long as we don't get snagged up in the grass, we should be fine. I'm already getting tagged by a bunch of little ones. I'm gonna move straight to where we normally catch the bigger boys. I don't have a lot of time left on the GoPro. So that's kind of why I'm rushing a little bit. Uh, I don't see any big ones yet. But it doesn't mean they're not there. I move right down to where we normally catch the, the big, big boys. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try around this log structure. I mean, um, little one chasing it, very little. Don't want him. About one inch long chasing it. Whole army of them. Snakes swimming across the pond there. I'm still trying to take kind of slow, guys. I still am kind of recovering from COVID, so I don't want to overstress myself too much. Chasing it. Alright, let's move right. Ooh, what was that? Probably a turtle. Well, let's move right over to this corner, which is normally where we get good hookups. Yeah, like I was saying, the whole thing with COVID, um, I have to be careful. I can't overexert myself too much because I'm still technically being exposed to it every day um, because my mom and my little brother and my sister and my dad we all got it at the same time um, my dad's in the ICU currently well I don't know if he's in the ICU but he's he's got blood clots in his lungs and stuff so he's got it really rough right now um, my mom and my little brother are recovering well but they're still technically positive. And I work for my mom, taking care of my little brother. So I have to be exposed when I'm there. They're all past the, the, um, the 24 hours with no fever. And so they shouldn't be infectious anymore. But I still wanna keep my immune system up on the off chance that they are not 100%, you know, just to keep myself from getting too, cause, yeah. And if y'all are curious about the whole COVID experience, just let me know, maybe I'll do a video talking about my experience with it. Um, so, if that's something y'all are interested in, just drop a comment down below. I don't know what you want to say. Just say, I don't know, do another video or something and I'll do one about it. I, don't, I try not to talk about it too much because you hear it everywhere enough as it is. I just come here to make videos and have a good time. That looks like a nice sized bluegill right there. I just saw him. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Ah, I saw him go for it, as I'm sure you heard.
Where's the bass? First bass I've seen in here. Nice little, I don't know, two incher? I mean, Hmm. That is the first bass I've seen in here. And he's nice size. Maybe I can give him a bite on a different fly. Nice size bluegill. Biggest one of the day so far. The biggest one we've pulled out of here. But he ate it, that's for sure. There we go, guys. Biggest bluegill of the day so far. We're gonna let him go. And he's off. Got the bass. Ah. I hooked him. Well, we hooked him. That's two nice sized bass we've hooked into today, guys. The hook just didn't hold. Hold on this little guy though. There we go guys. Another little bluegill. That's two really nice sized bass we've missed today. I think this one was bigger than the one we hooked into at Walmart. Well, Maybe not. It just felt bigger because I'm on this rod. Another probably two, three pounder. Went after this black and uh, pink. Kabari. Well guys, I'm going to probably call this video here. I'm getting kind of tired. And like I said earlier, I don't want to overexert myself after being so sick. But um but I'm going to chalk up missing both of those bass as uh, me being out of practice because I haven't been fishing for two weeks. So that's what I'm going to blame it on. Because I hooked into them both times and lost them. I normally do pretty good once I get them to eat. Even though in reality it's probably more along the lines of 
the first one was on that weird hook. And the second one, he was just really, really large, <laughs> which doesn't really mean anything, but I don't think I had enough backbone to really muscle him in the way I needed to at that angle. But it was kind of cool to see him completely ignore my fly and then immediately switching flies out and him just literally chase it down to eat it. That was really cool. It's kind of like, you know, it's just satisfying to like think that I guessed what he wanted properly. There is an army of little bluegill eating this fly, but none of them are big enough to keep the hook. yeah if you guys uh enjoyed the video you know like comment share subscribe you know the usual stuff but most importantly don't forget take it easy